Welcome back. The big headline coming in from the India Today conclave is that Finance Minister Arun Jaitley has broken his silence on the Vijay Malia Rao. He says, and I quote, that incidents like these are a great danger to the corporate sector and is a matter of great concern. Let's listen in to that whole sequence when India Today's consulting editor Rajdeep Sardesai asked him this specific question. Arun, I've just got uh, a request that the audience would like to ask one or two questions. Uh, please raise your hand. There's only time. Rajdeep. <laughs> uh, a very small question. Even as we speak, Vijay Malia's house in Mumbai is being auctioned. Uh, Kingfisher House. I wanted to ask this. Do you see Vijay Malia really as an absconder guilty of malfeasance? And do you accept that Vijay Malia actually is one of many industrialists, some even more high profile and even more well connected to your government, who actually have even larger NPAs? Are you going to act against them? Do you believe it's individuals who are responsible or the banking system well, or the political let system me, responsible? Let me. Let me not uh, give you an answer which you would want to sensationalize. Uh, uh, no, give me an honest answer. No, my, mine will be an <laughs> honest answer because uh, uh, I have to answer for sins my predecessors have committed. Uh, you see, the NPA problem is really on two counts. One part of the problem is because certain sectors of the economy had slowed down. So if you analyze the NPAs, the largest are in the steel sector, which was facing a huge Chinese surge coming into India. There is some problem in the textile sector, there were some in the highway and the infrastructure sector, some were of the state governments, the DISCOMs in the power sector. Now these constituted some of the major NPAs. Now this is because of the economic climate and the economic factors which have taken place. In these cases, the sectors need to be addressed if you want to solve the real problem. And we are, we, we've actually addressed most of these sectors. There is a second category where large amount of loans have been given in individual cases. And some of those people would have misconducted themselves there may not be adequate sureties and that's a source of worry. I think these cases need to be segregated from the rest of the cases which are on account of the sectoral slowdown. Those NPAs which are a result of the sectoral slowdown, once the upward movement in those sectors starts, those NPAs could even cease to be NPAs. But these are the ones which are the real cause of worry because there are moral and ethical issues besides legal liability involved in these cases. Uh, I think in the kind of examples that you mentioned just now, this has brought a huge bad name both to India's banking as also to India's private sector. And I think it, 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 it's extremely uh, dangerous for the future that if we are not able to remedy this. Now, how do you remedy this? I think our immediate job as a government is to make sure that our banks, particularly the public sector banks, remain strong. So I am trying to recapitalize the banks. The Reserve Bank has uh, two weeks ago taken a step in order to ease in their capital norms, so which brings in more capital into the banks itself. Steps for change of managements in some cases, steps for uh, 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 sale of assets in some cases. The banks have been uh, advised by the Reserve Bank to follow that policy. The government agrees with that approach. And I think eventually, once uh, over the next few weeks, we are able to bring the insolvency law, there will be a structured statutory mechanism under which all this will be more easily possible. But do you see Mr. Malia uh, as an absconder guilty of malfeasance? Well, why do you want me to make comments on uh, individuals? You had a full debate in parliament on it. That's why I'm asking That's you, where, right. where does I the have, government stand what I on have it? To say, what I have to say, his facts are clear. It's pending in court. Every government agency, whether it's the taxation department or it's the investigative agencies, wherever he has violated the law, is going to take strong action. As far as the banks are concerned, I've 
found out the details from the bankers itself. I've been briefed that they are going all out to recover every penny of the last rupee that they can from him. Let's now cut across live to India Today's consulting uh, editor, Rajdeep Sardesai. Rajdeep, uh, the most pertinent, the most important question that needs to be asked to the finance minister, Arun Jaitley, was the one that you asked about Mr. Vijay Malia. If you could take us through the main points and what exactly the finance minister has said, what exactly does it mean? Can the government actually go ahead and do that? There are two points to this, Sanket. One is, I think it's not just about Vijay Malia, but it's about the banking sector in general. Clearly, Mr. Jaitley there claiming that with the insolvency law likely to come in in the second half of the budget session, he believes that that will be a major step towards a recovering monies in the future to avoid cases like that of Vijay Malia and to move towards strengthening the banking sector. That's the broader general crisis confronting the banking sector. On the specific issue of Mr. Malia, I think you got a clear message from the finance minister that the banks have been told, the enforcement agencies have been told that wherever there is a violation of the law, they should act against Mr. Malia and that the, every penny of the last rupee should be recovered. So clearly the government wants to send out the signal that they intend to be tough with Mr. Malia. Mr. Malia's case will not go the way of others in the past where the government has been accused of not following up uh, on, on, on these cases and allowing the individual to get away. So I think that message has come very clearly that Mr. Malia will be pursued by the government, that the government will not, uh, uh, in a sense, uh, back off uh, confronting Mr. Malia if necessary. And as you've already seen today, Kingfisher House being sold, but it appears that the government intends to do much more in terms of even criminal action if necessary, using the investigative powers that it's uh, uh, to make Mr. Malia some kind of a test case of its commitment to take on those whom government believes have been guilty of malfeasance. Absolutely. Rajdeep Sardesai, many thanks for joining us. Uh, and as Rajdeep mentioned over there, perhaps this could be a case where the government might want to make the Vijay Malaya Rao a test case to improve the banking sector and also loan recovery mechanism in the country. We are stopping for a short break. Remember, all through the day, all the newsmakers all the movers and shakers are going to be present at the India Today conclave. Incident: A promising young Kabaddi player was shot dead on the streets of Rotak in Haryana. What's truly alarming is that the fatal shooting was caught on camera on Tuesday afternoon. Kabaddi player Sukhvinder Singh. Instead of living a quiet, happy, boring life, so I decided to get married. And my wife says, uh, "Welcome to hell, boy." But the episode ain't that bad. It's just about all right, above average.